Everyone keeps asking me how to get the most accurate placement of your zodiac sign. I use Cosmic Inside App. I just put my name, time, place of birth, and then I get all the details of my natal chart. Your sun sign, your moon sign, your ascendant, and other planets as well. So, download it. It's in my affiliate link below. Hi everyone, welcome to your divine timing. This is your uh, reading for people who are just looking for answers. Now, when you come here, um, it's really not about the zodiac. So um, don't think that you have to be a particular uh, placement um, in your chart. It's called divine timing. So if it resonates with you, it's what you have been searching for. Mm, but in, we go here very deep so it might also trigger some emotions so it's that kind it's very deep okay now sometimes this is connected to other readings also so make sure that you just uh, check the um, the title but if you're drawn to this then this might be the message for you feel free to comment um, because normally this is just for one person who's gonna resonate with this so I'm just doing basically a reading for that person so let's see here ooh ten of swords right away well, we're not uh, we're really having a rough day. You have your trader. So your situation um, is really about betrayal. Um, if you see that, those swords, um, it looks very harsh. Uh, probably it's a relationship where uh, things between you and the other person has been... Uh, as, you know, like you guys have thrown um, difficult words. Uh, hurtful, you call them out. They called you out. But this situation normally comes out when you guys are only together. This is what I'm feeling. I feel like the swords um, only hurts when they're around you. So it means... When you guys are going out on dinner or nice vacation, it's easy for you guys to get triggered. One can lead one conversation can lead to an argument. I see here you could be in a restaurant, you guys are just choosing some menu, and then it can spark to a big fight. You guys can just be choosing what movie to watch and where to go, what vacation place, how long are you guys going to go out. And that sword just uh, flies like, like they don't care. But it takes two to tango. So it only means that you and this person also... Um, do exchange the swords now the traitor part is the feeling that you have every time they do this to you because you feel unappreciated you feel that the person does not respect you and that's where it hurts Now I just need you guys to stay there because I can't see how long there is the, the monitor. There's no time. So I could be here for two days and I wouldn't know. So I'm just going to get a timer. I'm back 
good we're only here a day and a half not yet two days i tried to make it likely this uh, ten of swords ain't a joke i mean we're talking about you guys fight you guys make cats and dogs look like they're sweethearts the ten of swords is there's no redemptions when you go and you call them and you hate them and when they hate you doors can be slammed here things can be flying from your end you know but it's out of pain you're so hurt queen of coins Queen of Coins is the argument here. It's like, I cared for you. I gave you everything. And yet you felt poisoned by the person. Mm -hmm. Like, you're talking about you were willing to sacrifice for them no matter what. You were sticking through the situation through thick and thin. But it appears that the person didn't value that. Not at all. Not at all. The person, I feel, is... Well, it's because they don't care about other people. The person is... With uh, Ten of Swords, um, person only cares about what they can get in a relationship mm -hmm. the tower right temper anger oof like you guys can go for days with fighting now this breakup also was unforeseen but you know about this you guys always go here the relationship is very dark the relationship is very toxic with the tower something was dysfunctional there's only one person caring one person The Empress. Mm. So you've abandoned the relationship. You've abandoned the person who has betrayed you for the longest time. Right? But the Empress here is abuse. We know her story. Right? If you're familiar with the Game of Thrones... Daenerys was abused by many so you this is not the first relationship that has that has taken advantage of you right not the first relationship but you're trying your best to be the empress to be the person that can give love that's very difficult because you're carrying a lot of trauma. It can also be from childhood trauma. Ten of Cups. You're very, very optimistic. Empress with a Ten of Cups. But this Ten of Cups here does not look like um, it's easy to get to. So... You're walking away from this, right? The traitor. You're trying to walk to happiness. I really feel sad for this reading because you're broken. Yeah. And you're trying, you know. You're trying your best to 
show up to the world nobody knows that you are broken inside nobody knows that that person betrayed you but you're keeping it hidden you never told your parents you never to told your siblings your friends nobody heard about how this person has treated you you're just trying to make the best out of it where it's a learning experience it's good because this is what you're hoping for Ten of Cups has a lot of candles there. So that's a lot of wishes. That's a lot of love that you're trying to get to. Eight of Wands. You left that situation, huh? But they're still haunting you. Eight of Wands with a Devil. You're asking yourself, does this person really just wants to torment you? Really just wants to abuse you? To take advantage of you? Because they're the devil. You change everything in your life, and yet the person is still there. The person is obsessed. The person is obsessed with the Empress. This is a very unhealthy person that is around you. Is one of the most toxic that I've seen in reads, because the combination are all dark. Mm -hmm. King of Swords. And I said, all dark. Be careful because the person is very, very malefic. The person does not mean any kind of love towards you. The call to action of the universe is Eight of Wands. You gotta keep going. The person is coming for you. The person is coming. They're obsessed. They can't let go. And they want you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So be watchful of that. Because you guys have separated already. You guys at that tower. I don't understand why the person can't let go. But that can be you, who can't let go. Mm -hmm. So I'll continue this reading. The link is going to be in the description box. Um, hopefully, uh, this has given you um, a fair warning on who's coming. But if you're the one who's obsessing, then there has to be a level of um, restraint. Okay? So thank you very much guys for watching. This is your divine timing. The link for the extended. I will look further on the situation. More to this. It's a little bit lengthy when I go there also. Um, because we look at the all the questions that might be coming out of your brain. The if, what, nots, and the maybes. Because someone is coming. Well, it's not winter. It's the person. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Night.